House Minority Whip Steve Scalise sits on the Committee for Energy and Commerce, and the congressman from Louisiana joins me now. Steve, it is great to see you. I want to ask you about our energy issues, but I first want to give you a chance to respond to Secretary Buttigieg. He, he says supply chain is largely a private sector problem, and it may impact the holidays, but yet he links it to the pending infrastructure bill that they're really, really struggling to get passed. What do you make of that? Well, Trey, first of all, great to be back with you. Uh, and look, Secretary Buttigieg is out there trying to promote this massive multi-trillion dollar tax and spend package. Uh, but ultimately, it's the Biden administration that's created so many of these supply chain problems, starting with the lack of affordable American energy. It's one of the reasons people are paying 40 percent more for gasoline at the pump. It's one of the reasons that prices at the grocery store are dramatically higher. Uh, it's because of the policies where they said that they're not against all energy. They're just against American energy. You know, so as you pointed out, President Biden comes in, kills the Keystone Pipeline and all the jobs that goes with it, puts a moratorium on drilling in America, but then begs OPEC and Russia to drill more. How crazy is that? And by the way, if it was about global warming and saving the planet, we do it better than anywhere else in the world. And so if you're going to make energy, you should want to make more here. If you make products, make more of them here. But because we're not, we're more dependent on foreign countries and they're limiting the supply chain. It's why things cost more. It's why we can't get the goods we need. If you want to buy a microwave oven, you're going to pay 30 percent more and you're probably going to wait six months to get it because President Biden has completely flipped this upside down and created this problem. Steve, it has been such a tough 18 months for our country with the pandemic and, and, and the economy. I, I don't know that we can handle an energy shortage right now in, in light of all else we have been through. So how do we avoid that happening? Well, let's get back to what was working. You know, when, when President Biden walked in the door, we were energy independent. We were not only making enough for America's needs, we were exporting to our friends around the world. And so countries that are allies of America could get their energy from us. That's changing now. They've got to get it from enemies like Russia. Uh, Russia exerts political influence, by the way, when they send you energy, whether it's heating oil uh, during a cold winter. Uh, so those are the sort of things where President Biden went out and, and the far left pulled him so far uh, to where they said, let's kill American energy. But they exempt China from all of these regulations. And then they beg OPEC to produce more. It's been a gift to OPEC. It's been a gift to China. But it's crushed hardworking families. And by the way, Trey, it's the low income families that pay the biggest price for this Biden inflation that we're seeing right now. You know, Steve, it seems like certain pockets on the left have real disdain for the fossil fuel industry. I just wonder where they want the men and women in Louisiana who work in that industry. Where do they want them to go to work if they end the fossil fuel industry? Right. And, you know, it's this it's this kind of elitist Washington attitude that don't worry, you got a great career making over $100,000 a year producing America, uh, American energy in South Louisiana, but you can go and install solar panels, which by the way, you're probably going to be making 40% less and go look at what they did with Solyndra. A lot of those solar panels are made in China. Uh, when the Biden administration back when he was vice president gave $500 million of taxpayer money to Solyndra, the company went bankrupt in just a few months and the taxpayers lost all that money. In this package of bills, they have over $100 billion in Solyndra-style slush funds to give out money to their friends while crushing the jobs of those hardworking families in South Louisiana, those union workers who are going to be building the Keystone Pipeline all throughout Middle America. Those are the jobs that we're losing, and China's the winner. Uh, it, it's, it's the most perplexing, crazy, radical policy I've ever seen. Steve, thank you. I know that you're going to stick up for the uh, folks in Louisiana and others who are in the energy, uh, in energy industry in this country. Uh, thank you for coming on on Sunday night. Look forward to seeing you soon. Great being back with you, Trey. Thanks.